Sam Wilson. Steve Rogers. You must miss the good old days, huh? Things aren't so bad. Food's a lot better. No polio's good. Marvin Gaye, 1972, Trouble Man soundtrack. I'll put it on the list. We thought it was important to see Cap's Notebook because it's a good way to deal with the idea that Steve Rogers is a man out of time. There was a lot of discussion about what exactly goes into that notebook. We've had fun with things like Star Wars and Star Trek, but the idea of Captain America can feel like he's a hero just for America, when in reality, we wanted him to be a hero for the world. So we thought it would be a lot of fun to make it something that can be specific to territories. Now he becomes representative to their country and hopefully to the world. It essentially amounted to an internet campaign where we asked people to weigh in on the different things they thought Steve would have in his notebook. They would put out a list, for instance, of 20 things that Steve could have missed, and we had people vote online. And the top five vote getters ended up being implemented into each region's print of the film. Football is the international sport, and the World Cup is the sort of pinnacle of that competition. Dance Dance Revolution, an imported video game that I think a lot of us have probably played. Character actor Roberto Benigni, for them, is sort of the pinnacle of acting achievement in Italy. Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter. Tim Tams, the cultural touchdown for the people of Australia and New Zealand. Jaja, a huge personality and singer-songwriter. I think disco might surprise people for being on the list for Russia. Yuri Gagarin, obviously one of their first astronauts who captured the imagination of the Soviet people. Rafa Nadal, clearly one of the best tennis players possibly of all time. Chupa Chups, one of their signature candies. And of course, Shakira, a huge pop star in South America and somebody who has a worldwide audience. Oktoberfest. A really fun cultural milestone in Germany. Currywurst, a very specific German dish that grew out of World War II, something that Steve would have probably missed the evolution of. For Cap's notebook, we didn't want it to be Steve is only interested in America. Steve also is sort of plugged into each of your regions, so the film feels a little bit more personal. And we thought that was just a fun thing to do with the fans.